Super quick guys, if you haven't seen the first video, you need to go watch it. This video will make a lot more sense. It is posted in the description and also on the top right of the screen right now. So go watch it and then come back here. I also wanted to say thank you. I have never received so many positive comments from a video. You guys are literally the best, especially the people that joined our Discord and helped us get a lot more information. Thank you guys. I also just found out that Jack Frags enjoyed the video. Here's a clip from his newest YouTube video. Called It's Just Sneaky, who demonstrated this in a video recently, and he's calling out people using this. It's a good video. I'll link it down below if you want to see this program in action. And he showcases this in a game called The Finals. Now, aim assist in this. So, I had two main goals after the first video either get in contact with one of the devs of the finals or the creator of the hack so I could make a part two because I know you guys were counting on me to get some more information. Unfortunately, we could not make goal number one happen no matter how hard we tried, and I'm incredibly disappointed with the devs of Embark. Um, we literally ran their entire Discord server for the first two days that my video was out. There was not five minutes that went by where someone was not talking about my video or rapidly posting it in there. All of the community managers were telling people to stop sending the video because so many people had, and it was literally taking over the entire server. I had gotten in contact with some of the community members and they had told me that my request had been sent to the team. I'm yet to hear back from anything. Uh, I heavily doubt that I will. Um, obviously that's probably just some PR thing that they sent me, but I more than likely will not receive my request, I assume. And of course, with no surprise, the direct creator of that exact hack I was using did not want to be in a video. Um, I had one of my team members actually messaging him, trying to get him to get in a video. Um, I pop up a message on screen of what he said. Um, he was kind of down for me to like ask him questions privately, which I have no point in doing that. That's, I just want to share it with you guys. Um, so nothing ever happened there. Um, but right when I thought, okay, none of these two things can happen, the creator of the biggest Rewise community joined my server and wanted to talk to me. It's definitely pretty interesting. Make sure to leave your opinion down in the comment section after this video. The biggest thing that really threw me off, and you'll hear him talk about it in just a second, is that Rewise was not ever made to be for cheating. And that's where we're going to leave it off and hop into the call. Also, really quickly, I was in the call with this guy for over an hour and 10 minutes, so this is going to take a shitload of time to edit. If you guys appreciate the updates and the content, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. Enjoy. I, um, yeah, I, I saw your, your video, which was lovely to watch. Um, very, very nice. Like, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I don't know if Fiener told you, but I, uh, you know, I am a Rewast user. I'm even the creator of the largest Rewast community in the world at the moment. Oh, really? Um, but I don't use Rewast with the, 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 the reason you described in your video. Okay. And I don't build config with that reason. So... I have had a really heavy car accident uh, three years ago, uh, at which my bones in my right and left arm got completely vaporized and my muscles got uh, like permanently damaged. Oh wow! Uh, bones thrown back, and uh, luckily, but I couldn't play any game anymore, and I can't do at this point either because my hands shake so heavily that I have to drink, for example, I drink milk out of the the package because I cannot hold it in the glass because I will shake all the fluid out of it. Rewas wow. is a program that is actually built for people with physical disabilities. It wasn't uh, built uh, for people uh, with cheating in mind. It just so happened that people started abusing that, which had, between you and me, I think that's totally understandable. If you make a program because you want to help people, uh, there's going to be hundreds of people, thousands or ten thousands of people that figure out like, hey, I can abuse this for for uh, getting certain features, right? But the, um, the, funny the problem. Thing, the funny thing is, this is mm -hmm. not this is not like public information. Like if if I mm -hmm. when I type in the finals, no 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 that's that, that this is literally why I, I wanted to talk with you. Like no sorry I have autism so I get excited sometimes. No point. you're but, totally fine. You're um, totally fine. This is literally I was talking with Wiener and was like hey you know how cool will that be if you can just talk with someone that has a lot of knowledge on this topic. I am like an advocate, so I, I use this for because of a disability, uh, but I'm completely fine telling people I use this, right? Uh, I, I'm not hiding behind it. But the point is that a lot of these sellers, they make videos and stuff about their conflicts. I don't do that. I don't make videos about my conflicts. All we do with the community is we have a team of people. We have 24-7 support. So 
uh, premium support, can be live support, whatever. Uh, it's all free. Uh, what we, we're not doing this to make money. We have no intentions to build uh, cheat configs or uh, you know uh, do things. I'm also in contact with the developers of games. So when the developers will tell me like, hey, we just don't want you to do this. It's simple for me as removing the configs from our server and they're not available anymore. Um, I have no other ways of, of, of doing this because, again, right, I am against cheating. I am an ex-pro. That's before this accident, I used to be an ex-Apex pro. Um, I cannot play any game anymore because of how he heavy the condition was. That's how I found the software. But now the real problem, right, is a lot of people blame it to the software. But the software, all the software does is it allows you to have aim assist. But in the finals, the problem is that the aim assist is so insanely strong that it's actually abusable. If we, we look to a game like Fortnite that also detects rewards, right? You have aim assist that is, you know, it's there. You know, your shot from, shots are on point. Your uh, recoil control is there. But it is so disgustingly having a recoil that you have in there that playing with, with aim assist, the only benefit it gives you is to, to be able to track a little bit better. But it's not as evasive, like invasive as um, the finals is. Finals, you know, you, you've seen it yourself in your video, right? You can sit still and it tracks left and right. You can, um, you know, you aim and it's constantly on point. You have disgusting recall scripts, which same thing. I don't really like that. I do some of it, but I like I, I'm not making it a laser like what you have. Um, so it's essentially it's just disgusting what people um, uh, do with it or achieve with it. Uh, but in the finals, it is so insanely strong that it genuinely feels like you're aimballing. But for, for you to realize is that someone playing on a physical controller has this exact same aim assist. They have the exact same strength. They have the same features. Um, um, it goes as far right. They have assisted recoil control. So for a controller player, and I play with controller, I've done this for two years because of my condition. On my controller, I have the same recoil control, the same stuff at least as my normal config. So it's the same thing. Um, it's all like the, the problem is not the the I mean the software is, is a problem right because it can be abused. The point is though that all this this software is whitelisted in the anti cheat software. So for the embark embark has whitelisted rewast in the anti cheat software, which is why people are not getting banned using it. Uh, Apex Legends has whitelisted uh, RWHD in their anti cheat in order to make it um, compatible. Um, Battle Eye has whitelisted, like uh, Fortnite has whitelisted it in Battle Eye and their anti easy anti cheat to make it uh, um, allow people to use it. But they're whitelisted on uh, those softwares, and each software publicly announced on social media the reason for this, which is because it's designed to help people with physical disabilities aim. It's mm -hmm. really sad that, you know. It, I've this is the first time I'm hearing about that it's meant for disabilities mm -hmm. because um, you know it's it's marked as a, a cheat or a hack literally mm -hmm. everywhere and mm -hmm. even when I message in the official finals discord and I'm messaging mm -hmm. community members and things like that they they're, mm -hmm. they're updating me and they're telling me that anyone that's using rewas will be getting banned and mm -hmm. um, they do consider it hacks or cheats and things mm -hmm. like that and it's um, but then you know you you come and you tell me that it's it's whitelisted mm -hmm. and, and that it's it's meant for mm -hmm. disabilities, which makes so much for, more sense. I completely understand that. For the finals, Sticky, for the finals, I don't know if it's whitelisted, but for Apex and Fortnite, I do know know the thing. I've talked with the developers, so from there I I know uh, it's whitelisted. Um, now what is possible? It seems Epic Games is like but uh, easy and to cheat. And uh, Embark is using the Epic Online servers for easy anti cheat. It might be that it is automatically whitelisted already, which will be the oh, reason okay. that Rewas users aren't being banned. How was the mouse still for you in, in the config of Zoom that you used? So it, it was really weird, and I, and I tried to picture my mouse being, I guess, um, joysticks, but um, mm -hmm. whenever I would move the mouse really fast, it would move slow, but whenever I would do mm -hmm. quick mouse movements, it would move really fast, um, mm -hmm. which would make sense if I was using a joystick. It kind of like, mm -hmm. um, you know, acts different. Um, yeah, so, so you probably noticed as which, well that if you try feels, to swipe... It kind of feels actually like a, um, mm -hmm. what, what would you call that? Like a, uh, accessibility a tool, like for, mm -hmm. you know, for disabilities. I mean, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. 
So that's really so sad. The, um, I mean, the the best the best way I can explain it is usually people with a disability, they cannot do the mouse movements that you and I can do, right? At least I wow, can do them yeah, somewhat sense. now again. It's so like, what I'm seeing, um, what I'm seeing is I think, and you can tell me if I'm wrong here, but I'm seeing two mm -hmm. major issues. One, I feel like there mm -hmm. should be a lot more oversight on these configs and these cheats, mm -hmm. and I feel like. Um, you know, for example, you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart. You're creating something for free. I mm -hmm. feel like there should be more people um, like that that are one by one manually verifying each person mm -hmm. that is using it because I have no problem whatsoever with anyone mm -hmm. who has disabilities that is wanting to play the game. I think everyone should be able to play it. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think it's fair for a normal person, for not, I, a normal person, that's a terrible way of putting it, but someone mm -hmm. who doesn't have disabilities to, mm -hmm. um, to be able to get their hands on something to mm -hmm. make them better that's not even meant for them you know what i mean um that's, and that's exactly what i've done with my with my paid content so essentially what i did is i only made available 25 slots and i already made it really expensive only 25 slots and i check with every single person that buys it if they buy it because they have a physical disability if they don't have a physical disability i refund them and i tell them right and, and, you're, you. and you're doing the right you thing you're doing the right thing but i'm saying um it, for the people that are just obviously selling it to just make lots mm -hmm. of money, um, I feel like there also needs to be a lot more oversight on the finals mm -hmm. side of things. I think if, if they're going to let a third-party program be running in the background for disabilities, mm -hmm. which makes complete sense, I think they mm -hmm. need to have a set of team members that are just oversighting that part of it and making sure mm -hmm. that the people that are truly... That are that are coming honestly, in and truly using it, you know, deserve to be honestly, using Honestly, the now ways to solve the problem, uh, first of all, uh, what we discussed is having uh, games giving, uh, making it so that people with a physical disability can get ma manually verified either through the game or through the website, proving they have a physical disability, which will automatically whitelist their account from bans uh, with the software. The second option, which is way easier, is removing aim assist altogether from the game, like Overwatch did which has not a single ReWSD user inside of it because there's no point of using it uh, because there's no aim assist at all. Um, the other solution there is as well is to, if, if, if aim assist needs to be there, make the aim assist incredibly weak. Um, at this point, what it creates, right, if there's aim assist uh, in a game like the finals, the aim assist on controller is invasively strong. And even if there want to be rebus users, users uh, and, and uh, if it's going to be the controller players, it will be dominating the leaderboards because they just simply um, have a far more superior uh, input at that point because there's nothing that the mouse and keyboard player can do over the controller player. So having a weaker aim assist but, uh, that equals like make, makes a balance is there. Less option is, is to allow the software, but to do what Fortnite did. And that is make sure that if the software is detected, that the aim assist get nerfed for about 80 to 90 percent, um, and that there is extra additional recall on top of uh, the normal recall, which causes the player to to have an impossible like the the content creator have an impossible uh, job. Like it, it's not possible anymore to create perfect recall. So there will always be a recall. Um. I mean, I'm glad that things like this are in the game for, you know, so everyone can play. Mm -hmm. I'm just, um, I'm kind of excited to kind of put this out there and show everybody and, mm -hmm. and, um, hopefully something, something big will, will come that's good mm -hmm. that will kind of help remove, um, people that shouldn't be using this. Awesome. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much, sir. Have a nice one. You too. Thank you, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What the fuck did I walk in on? I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. The conversations you just watched were, in my opinion, the most important parts of our hour and 10 minute conversation that we had. If you guys want to see more of the finals content from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button once again. And don't forget to hop in the Discord server so we can chat more about this.